up Sailor Senji, my name is Sailor Snubs and boy do I have a mailbox Monday for you. I have probably 10 different boxes sitting around here that I really need to crack into because they have just been piling up in my studio and it's taking up a lot of space. So let's just get all this stuff out of the way and put back here on my collection shelf, shall we? So this past couple of weeks, I have been purchasing a lot of new pins that I can add to a pin board that I'm creating. I've also added a couple of things to my collection from eBay sellers, as well as sellers on Facebook and Instagram. So thank you so much to everybody who sells items on Facebook and Instagram that are, you know, reused or pre-owned or whatever it might be, because y'all are really, really sweet and awesome people and you ship things out super fast and I really appreciate it. So I promise you the items that you have sent me will go to a very good home here. It's a home where they will be cared for and where the cats never come in here. So the cats will not be allowed to touch my things unless I'm in here, of course, and then I will let them in, but only because they will be cuddling with me. So I'm going to go ahead and open up all of these packages and find out what is in each and every single one of them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with some of the items that I received from eBay, Facebook, and Instagram sellers. So first off, I received this Reihino World Uniform Operation figure. Uh, she originally was around $50 USD, but now you can find her for like $150, sometimes even $200. This one was used out of the box, so I got her for less than $100, bucks, which I was very, very excited about, especially because she looks to be in super good quality, and it looks like like all of our parts are included. So this was an excellent, excellent deal. And this is the first one of this series that I have purchased. So of course I know that Naru is gonna be really hard to find, but most of the other ones you can find used for pretty decent prices. So I'm excited to start this collection. I can't wait, she's so cute. I also received a couple of cup things. Well, I got a mug and I got a cup. So this glass cup is more so for like brandies and things like that. I usually put beer in these cause they taste delicious and it looks super funny to drink beer out of a Sailor Moon cup, but I'm like, whatever, I like my beer. And I also got the Q pot. I think this is the third season that she was in, uh, but it's the Chibiusa mug and it also says Q pot cafe Sailor Moon and on the back it has Pegasus. Again, and this one has the really pretty gold foil and it has all of the different sailor signs. And then Chibiusa has a really cute costume on, so she looks adorable. And just like the other mugs on the bottom of this one, it says Q-Pot Cafe made in Japan. I'm still missing the green one. I have yet to find the green mug, but now I have three of the four that are currently available and I'm already ordering the other two that are going to be available at the end of this month at Q-Pot. So I should have all six at some point. Just looking for that green one, man. <sighs> A very sweet seller on Instagram uh, sold me these two really cute towels. The first one says Sailor Moon on the front of it. It is straight from Bandai and I just really love the detailing of the art on the front of this towel so I decided to collect it because you know me and my towels. There was also a hand towel available from the same seller so I decided to purchase that one as well. I did get a couple of pins, which are fan art pins. These are from Sweet Serenity Pins. One features Usagi, and she's in a really pretty yukata, and she has some sakura growing behind her and flowing down off the trees. It's really, really pretty, and I like the gold uh, texture of it, the gold foil texture of the pin, so it's very pretty. The other one is a skull with a moon stick coming out of one of the eyeballs, which Sounds morbid, but it actually looks really cool because she used a really nice rainbow metal finish to it. So it looks awesome in the sunlight. So love these pins. Can't wait to display these. To add to my growing collection of coasters, I also found the Sailor Uranus coaster from Cupot, and this was a really great deal. I believe I got it off eBay, I want to say, but it was uh, pretty cheap compared to most of the ones you find on eBay. For my ever-growing Namja Town collection, I found this Sailor Mars postcard and it was a whole $2. So I was like, yeah, I'll add that to my orders. I got a small, but looks to be quite adorable, a GE sticker pack. And this is from a seller that was on Instagram, I believe. I also decided to opt into <laughs> purchasing a few of the acrylic stands. So the only one that I wanted from USJ or Universal Studios Japan was the Neo Queen Serenity 
quantity uh, acrylic stand. So I found this for a really great deal, decided to go ahead and purchase it. And I'll put this one on display. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. So I'm really glad that I decided not to collect all of these because they would take up a lot of space for a very small item that would be hard to see on camera. The other two acrylic stands that I got are Usagi and Chibi Moon, and both of these come from that Ichiban Kuji lottery, which is where I also got the Pegasus a couple of weeks ago. And these are by Banpresto. They do have Toei stickers on the back of them, and they are a little bit larger than the Neo Queen Serenity one from USJ. So these will be displayed back there pretty shortly. A girl on eBay was reselling her used Samantha Vega and Sailor Moon collaboration wallet. This is from, I believe it was the first series of wallets that they came out with. That was long before I knew how to shop on Japanese websites. So of course I didn't get to get this one and now it's so expensive and so rare, but I decided to go ahead and get the used one. It does have a little bit of wear and tear on it, but that's okay with me because I always end up using my items anyway, especially the wallets and purses. So for the time being, this will be displayed, but eventually I will be using this. Just like the other Samantha Vega wallets, this one also has really nice quality to it. It doesn't have any loose cables or loose threads lying around. The zipper looks like it's well functioning, even though it's a couple of years old and it is used and it has plenty of space on the inside for coins, for credit cards and everything else that you could ever want to carry on you. And lastly, I did also purchase a out of the box used version of the Black Moon Clan Sailor Moon Petite Chara. So these are extremely rare and hard to find now, especially brand new ones. And if you do find brand new ones, they're really expensive. There's also bootlegs that you have to watch out for on eBay. Usually you can figure it out based on where they're shipping from and how much they cost. So if they're like 20 or 30 bucks, it's probably a bootleg. And if it says it's from China, probably a bootleg, unfortunately. If it's shipping from Japan and it's $120, most likely it's real. But this one was not $120, thank Batman. This one was a lot cheaper because they were out of the box, but luckily the seller kept all of the packaging and all of the original items for them, so she even wrapped them back up for me, which was super exciting. She kept them in really nice condition, and I can't wait to take these out and add them to my collection of Petit Chara. That was one line that I unfortunately did not start collecting early on and now all of them are more expensive. So I'm slowly adding to my collection whenever I find them for decent prices. So next I have a small collection of items that I purchased through a deputy service called From Japan. And this is the first time I have received anything from them. So this is kind of an experiment for me, but I'm gonna see how well they're packaged and how everything came in. Ooh, Japan. We gotta talk about how much extra packaging y'all use for everything. Okay, so the first thing that I ordered through Premium Bandai and I used from Japan to actually ship it over to me are a couple of items from this pixelated graphics line of Sailor Moon merchandise. So these are both from Sailor Moon Crystal and both of them have the Toei sticker on them to prove that they are not bootlegs. Uh, first off, we have this Luna and Artemis keychain, which has cute pixelated graphics of Luna and Artemis, which are adorable. And then I also purchased uh, what turned out to be a much larger tote bag than I thought it would be, this pixelated graphic of Sailor V and her video game. So this video game is very, very popular in the show as well as in real life, and it's so, so cute. And on the back, we have the five Sailor Senshi as well as Luna on the bottom, and it says Sailor Moon Crystal. And it looks like this tote bag is pretty cheap in comparison to like the Q-Pot ones. So luckily it didn't cost a lot of money. Again, I'll put the prices down below if you're interested in those but I could definitely use this when I like go to the grocery store because yo, California, we ain't got no plastic bags anymore. So we got to use like all the reusable ones instead. So this is really cute and I like it and I can't wait to use it. I also went ahead and opted to purchase a couple of the Samantha Thavasa items from the Sailor Moon collaboration line with Samantha Thavasa and Samantha Vega. Uh, these are all purses and wallets and things like that, just like the used one that I purchased off of eBay. However, these ones are brand new. They did sell these in the stores at Isatan over in Tokyo as well as some of the other major cities. However, now they are available on Premium Bandai so you can get them for the same price on Premium Bandai as they were in the store. So this first one is a really pretty 
Uh, it looks like a makeup bag and it's actually pretty cool. The front has a jewel in the middle of the compact. It says Samantha Thavasa Petite Choice and the zipper has a little jewel on it as well. I love the gradient color. It's really, really pretty. And the inside, of course, has a print with all of the sailor signs. There's a little pocket that you can put things in and when you fold it down, it has a nice little closure to it. That's kind of cool. So if I pull it out, then it pops open. That's neat. I like that. That's really cute. This one also has a toy sticker on it. And for this year's wallet, I went ahead and opted for the Sailor Moon wallet. And this one has a pretty little bow in the center, just like Sailor Moon's Fuku, Sailor Moon's uniform. On the front, it says Sailor Moon, Samantha, Thavasa, Petite Choice. There's a couple of little jewels around the sides. It has really nice stitching, and it looks like it's made to last for a very long time as well. And it looks like the inside has the same print as the previous wallets. Yeah, and this, luckily, since it's from Premium Bandai, it does come with all of the different cards that you get with it. There's a three-year warranty. There's the toy sticker on the original price tag, etc, etc. There's a lot of different ways that you can tell that Samantha Thavasa items or Samantha Vega items are real and indeed the legit items. If you would like to see a walkthrough of how you can tell, I would love to do a video on that as well. So just let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Well, this is pretty. I'm super glad that they decided to include all of the different pieces that you get with it because I generally like to keep all the tags with my Samantha Thavasa and Samantha Vega um, products that I purchased. This last item from Premium Bandai was a big, big purchase for me, um, I'll be honest. And I'm very excited to see it. These are usually very pricey items from Europe and I have never collected one before, but I saw the Sailor Moon one and I decided that I would like to include it in my collection. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this box and show you what's inside. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I'm in love, oh my goodness. So I don't speak a lick of German, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a little bit about this bear. Um, so the company that this was collabed with is called Steif, maybe? Uh, but it's a German line and it's been around for a very, very long time. And they create these really high quality um, stuffed bears. And the bears are really sturdy. They aren't like stuffed animals that you would find on like a child's bed or something. These are collector's items. They move around just a little bit so you can set it down, you can move its head around and stuff like that. And you can tell that it's a real one based on the little badge that comes inside one of the ears. So in the case of the Sailor Moon Steif collector's bear, this teddy bear. Um, it is a pink bear, which is so cute. It does come with the Sailor Moon Fuku, including the little compact on the front. And on the bottom, on one of the little feet, it has an embroidery, Sailor Moon, with a little uh, crescent moon. I almost forgot the word for crescent. But this is so pretty. All the tags are included. You can take off the Sailor Moon Fuku if you want to and replace it with another Steif Bear um, costume if you want to. She also comes with a certificate. So this says limited edition of 1992 pieces made of finest mohair. Steif teddy bears and animals are absolutely heartwarming because our designers put their own hearts and souls into planning and creating each of them. Oh, this is so pretty. And then it's signed by the CEO of Steif, which is really cool. Wow. This is awesome. This is one of those like legendary items that I really wanted to put in my collection that I had to wait to afford because it was rather pricey being a collector's item. Um, but she's going to go up on my, my little collector's bookcase behind me and you'll be able to see her every day. Okay, so last item for today, and I'm just gonna run through these real quick because I've already done kind of a review and unboxing previously. I decided to order another box of Grace Gift Taiwan shoes. Don't tell my husband. So I ended up purchasing another size of the sparkly slip-on shoes and I got a half size smaller than what I had previously. While they felt like they fit in my previous video when I was unboxing them, I took them outside and they were slipping off my feet, even with some Dr. Scholl's. So I stepped a half size down and I wore them outside and they were perfect this time. So I'm really happy that I decided to rebuy those in a size smaller. I also opted for some more of the high heels. When I previously tried those on, I figured out that Dr. Scholl 
Essentials little gel insoles really helped with the fit of those. They were slightly too big for me. They were slipping off my heels. However, they didn't have a lot of room in the toes. So while they do fit, they weren't fitting super comfortably without that Dr. Scholl's insoles. So I went ahead and put those in and walked around in them and they are so comfy now. So I decided to go ahead and opt and purchase a couple more of the high heels in the same size, stick in the Dr. Scholl's and I'm sure I'm going to love them. So this time I decided to get the more nude color, I guess. One is peach, one is pink, but the other ones look like they're hot pink and these ones look like they're light pink. But anyway, I ordered this lighter pink color and I also ordered the blue color. So one is for Sailor Moon, the other is for Sailor Mercury. I also wanted to get the red ones, but they were out of stock in my size, which was unfortunate. But these ones are so freaking pretty and they look so good on my feet. So I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and opt for them. And I really love these. So I'm very excited to wear them. I love the Artemis shoes so much. I decided to go ahead and get the Luna versions as well in the same size. These ones are in my normal size, that size 40 or size eight in the US. So. I went ahead and got the same size of those. And these Luna versions, they do come with the same kind of designs on them. However, in this case, they have the pink lace and they are made out of this pretty dark blue color, this navy blue instead of the white shoes that, that the Artemis ones come in. But you still get the really cute tongue with the little ears for Luna and you also get the little crescent moon on top too. I do think that out of all of the Grace Gift Taiwan shoes with the Sailor Moon collab that the Luna and Artemis ones are the most comfortable and also the most true to size. So if you were going to purchase just one, I would say go for those. I don't have a Sailor Moon backpack at all, which is crazy because I have tote bags and I have purses out the wazoo, but I don't have any backpacks. So I decided to get this little mini backpack, which has the Luna ears on it, and it is black, just like Luna. So of course it comes with some really cute detailing, like the crescent moon, the ears, and it also has the compact and one of the moon sticks on the side for the zipper detailing. And the inside, I believe it's just black lighting. Let's find out. Yeah, it's just a black lining on the inside, so nothing special there, but this will be really good for the summertime for like little day trips into the city. I think that I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this, so I'm really happy that I got it. Okay, so that is everything from my mailbox Monday this week. Woo, I gotta say it's a lot of stuff, but there are some really amazing things in here. Of course, I think my favorite is the Steiff teddy bear, which is so, so cute, and I'm so happy I was able to get one of those while they were still in stock. But if you wanted anything out of this collection, let me know below what your favorite item was and if you want to see more of these unboxings in the future don't forget to subscribe and again my name is Sailor Snubs Johnny